Okay, so you can see the steering wheel um, is a little bit different. Um, it's just that nasty rubber, so, and obviously they've worn a little bit on the switches. Uh, and I bought myself a sports steering wheel, which is on the passenger seat there. So, um, we're going to first off disconnect the battery um, and then get off the airbag and remove the steering wheel. So, uh, you're probably going to need a 10mm spanner for the battery. So we'll go to the back and do that. So there we go, remove the negative black cable off the battery. So that's disconnected now. So no airbag should be going off. Okay, so let's have a little look at the new steering wheel. Oh. So as we can see there's a new one um, I've got this off of eBay for I, think I paid about 120 quid for it in the end so it wasn't too bad uh, obviously including the airbag uh, which some of them don't come with and it's not in bad nick um, needs a little probably recover there but not too precious because this is an old car uh, so here we can see to release the airbag got these little cutouts there's one each side in there and there um, so for that I'm going to use a long flathead screwdriver um, and pop it in I'll show you how so you don't want too big of a flathead screwdriver maybe a tad longer than this one if you can uh, but this seems to go in just uh, and there's some clips at the back so I'm gonna have a little jiggle and then once I get it off, I can show you more clearly. Okay, so I managed to jiggle this out. Uh, I'll go back to that in a second. Then you've got your two connectors that you'll want to probably take off. So if you just get a flathead screwdriver and just tuck it underneath there, that lifts up and the same with the other one. And then they just come off nice and easy. Like that. And then obviously you're free, might as well check this as well, make sure that's all okay. Hi right guys, welcome back, so I'm on day two now doing this steering wheel, because um, on the other videos I watched it said get a T25 Torx. Well, I went to Amazon and bought a T25 Torx, and it doesn't fit, because it's actually a T27. I've just done it with this wrench and uh, a piece of cake. So. Um, that's for getting the two screws obviously behind the steering wheel on the older models rather than having the pin you've got uh, a screw each side and it's t27 not t25 just been doing me nut so let's just buzz them out and i'll show you the screws um, that it is t27 so a little tip i found uh obviously when i did get it in position i Put the key in ignition, obviously the battery is disconnected. Um, bring it up to the top, then I could get my socket in there, my Torx, and it just give me better leverage. And then I've obviously swung it round, do the key again, turn your wheel, and then you can get access to the other side. I just found that personally a better position. So, um, and as you can see, now the airbag is starting to raise up this side. So I'll just do the other screw and that will release the uh, airbag. So I've fully undone the screws. The two screws don't actually come out. Uh, they just sort of push the airbag out. Uh, and now I'm just wriggling to try and get it out. It seems to be stuck down this end more so. Maybe take that off. Yeah, so I've just removed that. May help a little bit. Okay, maybe I've got to undo. Oh no. All right, so it's just a case of jiggling. Um, and it gives you access. Release the plugs. Um, this one, which was in here. So I just pulled that out. Um, so I'm going to completely remove the steering wheel and um, put a new one on. Right. Okay, so 16mm we're going to go with for the centre bolt. Okay, so we've got a little extension just to give me a little uh, bit of distance to get off there. Um, 
Oh. Sockets. Sockets, sockets, sockets. Right, little wrench. Try and do it with that and see how tough it is. See how tough I am, I suppose. Let's take the key out. Alright, so I lock. Fucking hell. Oh, done it. Bravo. Bravo, sir. Voila, one sixteen mil bolt removed. So let's keep that somewhere safe. Drinks tray. We should do. And see what's oh right, so we've got one little cable left. So we've got that little cable there. Squeeze that somewhere at the top. Go the hands in a way, don't help, does it? There we go. Right, that's removed. So, uh, it looks like it was off center as well because you've got a little groove there, and then there's a little line, um, and it's just off center. So, someone's had the steering wheel off before. So, hopefully, we can put it back together properly. And on the back, just to prove. Uh, geez, I need my glasses on really for these bolts. Right, here they are. So, uh, T27. That's the kiddies. Right, so now you've seen it. So that's why the 25s don't work. They're too small. Okay, so far so good. So you can just see, if I zoom in on there, the little line and then the line on the steering wheel and she'll wear a match so yeah you don't need to do anything else that is it just there so now we're going to put the cables in um a little white one that goes in there top right and this one just goes back in there right at the top Um, this one just seems to be dangling. Oh, I know. Just on the right there. Got a little tab. See it? Well, yeah, you'll see it when I put the cable on. Probably needs a little squeeze. A bit loose. The pliers on that. Uh, most importantly, 16mm bolt for the middle. Probably should have done that first. Let's uh, get it. <coughs> There is a torque amount, I think it's 37 or 47, I'll pull it up on the screen. I've got actually got my torque wrench, but as long as it's tight, I don't care, I'll be happy with that. So let's get the wrench on it. One handed bouquet. Okay. Turn the little dial. Just give it a little two arm job just to make sure that's nice and tight and then you've got your two little uh connectors obviously green and black do them as colored and then we're just gonna just literally just push fits in back into the center and then we test it okay okay connectors on uh pushed right in um and then obviously you see the two black lugs sticking up they got to go in between the springs, um, just down there, one each side, and um, and that should be it. Here we go. Okay, here we are. Battery's reconnected on the negative down there. I'm gonna flip this back in on the old tourings. A bit of a pain. Okay, all right. Shut the boot now. No problems. Let's check it, make sure there's no airbag light. Okay. Right, let's get the cut initially. Airbag light's off. 
So yeah, it looks like success anyway, guys. We've got it fitted. Oh, feels nice. Wow, big difference. It's weird. It feels a lot lighter than it did. So uh, yeah, success. We got round it, got it all fitted. A um, little bit of an issue with the tool size, obviously, but now we know. So uh, yeah, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.